morning, everybody. truck but uh, this vlog is going to be uh, including a bunch of different footage from throughout my entire time that I was at home I was at home Friday uh, got home Friday then I was at home Saturday Sunday Monday Tuesday Wednesday uh, part of Wednesday we left on Wednesday so uh, a little bit here and there from throughout my time at home oh, I just sort of compiled it all into one vlog so uh, see how it turns out for you if you like it, give me the thumbs up because that always helps a lot. Chevy. Look at that baby bump. <laughs> How many weeks today? 18. Almost halfway there. 18 weeks. First. Getting close to the halfway mark. Seems like it's taking forever to get to the due date. It really does. It really does. It takes a long time to bake a baby. It does. a little bun, a little cookie. Wayner, how are you gonna feel once mom has no time to hold you anymore? She's always gonna have a baby in her arms. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. <laughs> She's always going to be holding the baby. She's not going to be able to hold you 24-7. Oh my. I haven't thought of this yet. Baby's nap, Wiener. Baby's nap. Well, so do Venus. <laughs> what if we nap at the same time? And you can nap in my arms. Ouch. Don't worry, Wiener. When I come home, I'm going to be a baby hog. Mom will have lots of time to hold you. Chevy, you ready for a baby? Frank, what do you think? Nothing? We're speechless, we're so excited. Where's Diesel? Are we having a nap on our bed? Nope. Is he having a nap on his bed? Oh, there he is. He likes to switch napping locations. Diesel, having an old man nap? Are you ready for a baby? Very soon? It's going to be wonderful, man. Wonderful. You be a big brother to a skin puppy. You'll be his fur brother. Trick Josh. You look cool in those shades. Very nice. Genuine. So attractive. Don't believe it. Prescription. <laughs> All black. All black. Very fancy. Bougie. Bougie. <laughs> We're just driving out to uh, the Winkler Morden area right now. We're going to see my mom's, I don't want to say new boyfriend, they've been together over a year, but we're going to see her boyfriend's house for the first time. He's invited us for dinner. Very fancy. But uh, he's more of a private guy, so we're going to keep him off the video out of respect for his wishes. You know, it's his home, his life. He doesn't need to be on the internet. He's not a social media dude, and that's totally cool. Maybe one day he'll feel more comfortable with it. But uh, for now, we're just going to enjoy our family time. Anything to say? Genuine. Black. Okay, we've already, we've already gone there. Fancy. Oh. Nothing else. This guy. That is all. This guy. We'll see you soon, guys. We'll talk to you after dinner.
looks like it could use a little bit of a little, little bit of love. Where's the fancy house? I always got so excited for it as a little girl. My dad was born and raised in Winkler. My mom lived in Morden when she met my dad when she was 14? No, I think she met him when she was younger than that, like 12 or something. But they started dating when my mom was 14. This is Morden, if you're wondering. Oh yeah, Winkler and Morden are right kitty corner to each other. There's the fancy house. There it is. Can you guys see it? Is the sun in the way? There it is, the fancy house. The sun was a bit bright, but you guys get the general gist. It looked a lot bigger when I was little. Now it just looks like a, an oversized house. But it looked like a mansion when I was a kid, I swear to you. Anyways, yeah, so my mom spent her teen years here, um, growing up living with her sister, one of her older sisters. Rocks, bar, and grill. I feel like my mom used to work somewhere around here. It might have even been there. It wasn't called that at the time, but super nice little town. I really like Winkler as well, but Winkler's a city, right, babe? Yeah, it's a big city. Yeah, well, it wasn't when we were little, but uh, yeah. I don't know. I really like this area of the province. I, I like these two towns a lot. I feel kind of at home here because I spent so much time as a little girl here, but... It's very well kept. Yes. Everyone takes pride in their yards and a their homes. A lot of pride. And yeah. uh, there's really... The economy here is really well. People are doing well. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of people, you know, taking care of their lives. Working hard. A lot of respect for those people, so... Yeah. I love this place. Now that we're back from Morden, it's the next day. Starting to get baby's nursery cleaned out. Taking the desk out of here, the mount is coming out of here because there's going to be no TV in here. Reorganizing everything. <laughs> Got a little ways to go. Give him, cut me some slack. I just started. I'm going to clear all of this out and then uh, we'll be ready to paint. This is my office desk and the monitor that I used for editing. I actually got a bigger one that I got from mom and dad that's at the shop, but we'll have that there as well. Uh, this is all going to the shop. I'm gonna set up the office there. And I reorganized the shop again. This is my new office. It's not done yet, but got <laughs> this desk that came from home Monitor I got from mom and dad, that's for editing videos. That's a spare monitor. I'm not too sure what I'm gonna use it for yet. That's the one I was editing on at home. Got it here now. This is something my sister made us, my sister Cheryl, made Britt and I for our wedding. And we didn't really have a place to put it because our house is so small. So I figure I put it up in my office now. She made it herself, so she put a lot of time and effort into that. And I appreciate that. That was a wedding gift for us. I still have to clean up this whole area here. I've been here all evening and I'm still not done. <laughs> We've got the bull snot bar over here. And uh, got this stuff over here. So that's the new... Uh, the new setup, got the heater down here for when it starts getting cold, plugs into the 220 amp up there, or the 240, plugs into that there anyway. And Old Blue, you're going in for a service tomorrow, how you feel about that? Yeah? You like that? Get you some new oil, gave her a bath today, oh, she's looking nice, isn't she? Oh, <laughs> she knows she's look. she knows she looks good. I'm tired. I can't even can't even talk right now. So uh, I'm gonna head home. I also brought my YouTube award here, my silver plaque for 100,000 subscribers. 
This is where I'll be doing a lot of my editing now because my office at home is now officially being transformed into a baby nursery. We've got old Blue back. And we got the weasel. And we got something going on right here. We're getting ready to leave on our next trip. I gotta go to Carmen tonight. Tonight is Wednesday. Yeah, so Thursday morning, tomorrow morning, I load up there in Carmen and I have a, I'm not too sure where it's going yet, but I think there's two loads, so it won't be too far. So I'm picking up there in the morning, delivering it, coming back in the afternoon, delivering it, and then we'll see what we got going on for Friday. Now to explain this. Diesel, you want to say it? We got a new mattress for the truck and I'm just squeezing this old one out right now. The new one is right here. It's an Odyssey truck mattress. I'm really excited to try this out. I've heard this is like the best of the best. I'm gonna let you know how it is. And I'm gonna let you know where you can go and find one as well. So it's all rolled up in here in a little roll. I can just toss it through the door there. It'll be much easier to get this one in than to get that one out. And uh, yeah, we'll cut it out of there. Well, what are we gonna do? We'll start packing up all our stuff. We have the weasel with us this week. Well, for whatever's left of this week. You excited, Diesel? We're on trucking? I know, I'm taking a long time getting going. We gotta get all this into the truck yet. Got all of our food and everything for the week, and we gotta get this mattress replaced. You wanna help me, Diesel? Diesel, you're probably gonna have to move from here, though. Come on. You're being a super good boy watching it, making sure that no one takes it. Yes. Good boy. Now you watch out, okay? I don't know what's gonna happen when this thing pops out. Oh, I don't wanna wreck it. Just in case I like this one better, I'm gonna put this one back in. But I have a feeling that uh, that one's gonna be better than anything I've ever slept on in a truck. It was specifically made or put together for this truck, for the, it's like the right size and everything. I don't know if they specifically made it for me. Let's just say they did to make myself feel special. Hey, did grease my death wheel? Whoops! <laughs> just got my truck serviced. I just realized that they forgot to grease my fifth wheel. I can do that myself before we hook on, but... Whoops! That's okay. That's okay. I'll just let him know we're time I'm home. Get this out of the way for now. Bring it up there. Okay. Oh. oh! Watch out for those box flaps. Very close. All right. I want to do this quickly because I want to get going. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So I know I don't have the best lighting back here, but I got both doors open to let some light in. And I got all the lights on in here that I have. So let's try and get this thing unraveled without hurting ourselves. Am I gonna need a knife for this? Or? Oh, maybe not. I don't know if they sent instructions along with this or not, but I didn't check. Okay. <clears throat> let's uh, whew, see what happens. Okay. Obviously more than just this piece here. Okay. Oh. 
not so bad. Sounds like it's leaking air. Oh, it's expanding. Oh, shoot. Better hurry. Ah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. Ah! <laughs> oh, it's upside down. No. Okay. I think that's the right way up. Hey. Oh, it's too small. Way too small. Shoot. Um, it's supposed to go right from the back here, all the way to the front here. And there's a huge gap in here. Maybe that'll be okay. I mean, maybe it'll expand a little bit yet, but yeah, that's a huge gap in there. You see that? The other one came straight up to here. I measured it out and I did tell them what measurements to send. Okay, well, there it is. We'll give it a shot. Give it a shot. Okay, so it's still continually expanding, getting bigger and bigger. I think it is an inch or two shorter than my other one, because the other one went right up against here, right? And right up against here. So it's a few inches shorter, but that's okay. And I think it's a little bit wider because that never used to rub the mattress there like that. But again, minor, minor details. It's okay. It keeps getting thicker and thicker, though. <laughs> oh. 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 Oh, yeah. Yep. Yep, that's, that's good. That is nice. <sighs> that's the stuff. Yep. That is comfy. That, I like it. I like it. Yeah, it fits. Fits a little differently than my other one, but that's okay. It's a lot more comfortable. You know, let's get our sheets on here and uh, all my protective layers so that uh, Diesel can be on here too. He doesn't get to go on just the open mattress like this. What do you think, Diesel? We're here in Carmen, at that same place that we were at uh, a few weeks ago, if you remember. Uh, I know we can't really see much here right now. It's kind of dark in my truck, but I tell you what, this bed probably expanded twice as much yet. It, it It's huge. It is a bit wider. Yeah, it's pressing up against here a little bit. That's okay. It's a little bit shorter. It's got some space in there. That's okay. But I wish I could convey to you or like, just tell you how comfortable this is like watch me sink in I might disappear <laughs> I don't know what's gonna happen Wow I'm not even exaggerating this uh, this mattress is amazing it's just as comfortable as my mattress at home and we spent a good penny on that mattress that was a that was a good uh, that was a good life decision. That was uh, very nice. I'm gonna tell you more about this mattress in the future. Let me sleep on it for a few weeks. And then I wanna tell you about uh, the company that sent this to me. Uh, and I'm gonna tell you where you can get them as well. This is uh, from Odyssey Truck Beds. I wanna make sure that I send them to the, or send you to the, the, the right spot so you can get a mattress just like this as well. But like I said, give me a couple of weeks and I'm going to tell you what it's like. I haven't, I haven't even actually slept on it overnight yet, and that's the true test. So we'll talk about it more in the morning. I'm going to go to bed here now, though. This has been a mishmash of my whole time at home. We were home, uh, got home on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and today is Wednesday. Oh, there you go. Bunch of things that got done to the truck as well. We had to wait for some parts. And uh, what all got done? Full service. Had an actuator replaced in my in my cab because my vents were getting stuck on like just the feet or just the defrost and there's an actuator in there that needed to be replaced figured that out uh like i said there's a leak for my uh the coolant going to the heater core and the sleeper here uh 
they got that fixed up for me got the heat going in here now so that's good and uh, my hood cables got replaced I noticed that uh, yeah just little things keeping up with this truck making sure that it lasts forever for me as long as we possibly can get it to got diesel with me this trip so I'm not sure exactly what we're gonna be doing tomorrow but uh, We'll find out then. Thanks for tuning in and hanging out with us for my home time. I hope it entertained you. If it did, give me a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. and Leave me a comment down below. We'll see you tomorrow for a full day of trucking.